Okay, so we're on another day of unpacking and moving into the office. I'm not sure how many updates this is going to be whenever it's all said and done, but as you can see here behind me, I have most of my skincare out. I still have a few more things to go through. Like this box here, this isn't just skincare. Like it's a, it's a pretty good size box, but it's got like my sheet masks. It's got a lot of my body products, my hair products. Like there's even hair dye in here, which honestly I need to just go ahead and take that back home unless I dye my, ha my hair here, I don't know. And then I have a bag of randomness over there, but this is most of the skincare. I don't know how, like I haven't done that declutter yet because I told you guys I was gonna do it before, but it just kept getting put on the back burner. So um, yeah, just really quickly, some of the stuff that I have. That's like all my face cleansers, which nobody needs as much skincare, honestly. I need to get rid of most of it. Um, but this is all the moisturizers. These are all the masks that I have, but there's more in here. So they're underneath all this other stuff. That's just what was available right away. Random stuff. This has extra brushes. I haven't used, like they've not been opened or anything, and sponges. That's just really random. And then this is like electronics. Um, yeah, stuff that doesn't need to be in here. And there's dust all over everything where we've been moving. And this is like office supplies, like, um, thumbtacks, uh, sewing kit in here. Like just, just totally random little things. That's, this is empty. I'm, I'm probably going to get rid of this. I used to like the rooster stuff back in the day, but I've not, I don't, I've just held on to that box forever because I thought it was cute. Then my little washcloths to clean my face. And this is some PR that I got a while back. Dermalogica sent me some things and Foreo sent me some things. I haven't had a chance to really mess with those, which is why they're staying in their box right now. Then we have our oils and toners, a few essence, night stuff, eye creams. We've got serums. And I don't know if like this is everything. This is just what I've found so far. Uh, cleansing balms and makeup removers and there's still random stuff here and I have my dogs with me they follow me around everywhere in here while I'm getting ready so they've moved position like 20 times since I've been here and Mia um her hair gets really really crazy and we're trying to keep the hair from going into Devin's office so I put this shirt on her and oh, it's a Christmas pattern like, look at the Christmas cookies. It's got the leg chewed off and then half of the body on the other one. It's actually kind of scary for a Christmas thing. And then I have a bunch of random stuff here. I'm just trying to go through everything. And this is... Okay, I got this whenever I was like 10 or something like that. Ah! Like, if you've watched my channels at all, my mom... I've, you've heard me talk about my mom selling Avon. And this was like one of the first fancy pieces of jewelry that she ever got me. And the reason why this is here, Devin brought a couple boxes over from the storage unit. And this was in it. Yeah. Who knows what this is? Like Liz Taylor. And I can't remember the movie exactly that she was in. This is from. But this is like Hearts on Fire or something like that. I was obsessed with horses growing up, and so my mom got me this. I never really wore it. It's just something that I've kind of been holding in the package, kind of like uh, a My Precious situation. <laughs> um, but yeah, <laughs> if you know what that is, then maybe that makes some sense to you. Um, anyways, random stuff, random stuff. Totally random. I got little flowers in here just for no reason whatsoever, but they ended up in there. But I got this because I think I want to put this on the counter and put sample skincare in here. Or maybe use it, put like lip glosses, like lip products. I'm still thinking about that. But yeah, a little update as we're unpacking. Got more of the storage containers out here and some of the plants. And I use all, I saved my Boxer Charm boxes and I've been using those to kind of store all of my makeup and stuff that I was moving. So that stuff wouldn't get messed up. So like lashes are in that one. That one has a bunch of lip products. Little eyeshadow palettes and random stuff. A bunch of little eyeshadow palettes. And oh, I saved these. 
This is actually from whenever we were working at Lowe's whenever Devin and I first got together. That's us. Yeah. I don't know if I'll ever throw them away. It's just something like a little keepsake. They did cute stuff when I was working at Lowe's all the time to try and make up for the pay we should have been getting. And I saved these too. I don't remember what year this is from. I've had this for a long time. I've got a whole bunch of those and I was planning on making a wall of them. And then that was me in like middle school right here. And then my two friends actually still talk to Natasha a lot. Um, but Amanda, I haven't seen her in a while. But yeah, that's me. I don't know why I wore like a white button up shirt and then I have a red satin skirt on. <laughs> it's just fun. Um, and then this is the box of like perfumes and body oil and then a glass uh, luminous dewy skin mist. Just stuff that I wanted to make sure that didn't get broke because if it did, it would be horrible. It would get everywhere and cause problems. And you never want your perfumes to get smashed. And then these I had to put in here. They're from Ink Credible. It's the Rollerball glosses. I put these in their own bag because for some reason, the Amethyst one, I haven't opened the other one, but the Amethyst I opened up and it, if it gets turned on its side, it will spill out and make a mess. So I wanted to make sure again, it didn't get all over my stuff. And then here are all my brushes and I have to, like these on top are my everyday brushes, but then I have a bunch in here underneath. I have to go through and wash everything. But now, now that I got a sink here, this is gonna be much easier. And then, then this is like my fancy brushes. These, oh gosh, if you want a review on these, let me know. These are just so stinking pretty to look at. They're my absolute favorite and I've, I've only used them once because <laughs> I've been displaying them. And then here are my single shadows and my glitters, just randomness and a bunch of eyeliners, like all kinds. And again, I just a bunch of random stuff over here. I actually, for some reason, had this in storage too. Like back, like look at this, what it's for. It's gonna protect you against swine flu and bird flu. That's what they used to use to get you to buy these things. Now everything's for COVID. And a little, little animal Devin got me. So cute. But yeah, I'm gonna be unboxing all of these little boxes. And this big box, I'm hoping there's no casualties in here. But yeah, all my blushes, setting powders, random stuff. I had so much stuff in here. I still have to clean out the drawers because, you know, I'm just going to vacuum them out. Might as well. They haven't been done in a while. Get everything together. I've been watching Big Bang Theory. <laughs> and in this tub here, I actually have eyeshadow palettes down there. And I have more boxes. I don't even know what that is. But yeah, you can see some of the eyeshadow palettes there. But there's, they're in that. They're in this big box over here. And I want to say there's a bag of eyeshadow palettes too, but I don't see them right off hand. Wait, yeah, I do. They're this bag, eyeshadow palettes. I can't put any of my eyeshadow palettes away until the windows are done. And that window looks really, really weird. Like I even cleaned it and these weird spots come up. I don't know what that's all about. Got a few pictures hung. I don't know if they were up last time. A little board there and I've decided I'm going to do something here. I'm going to take the blinds down and then I'm going to put film here on the glass or I may try to do chalk paint. I don't want to do spray paint like I did over here because that was entirely too much work. You okay Mia? Did you hear her? You okay Mia? Come here baby. Come here. Are you pretty? Oh my gosh, you're such a pretty girl, aren't you? Yeah. You're such a baby. Yeah. They're with us today at the office. We can't leave them at home because it's too hot there because of the metal roof and we had to take all the insulation down, which is part of the reason why I had to leave. It's just been such a mess over there. But they're going to hang out with us. I'm going to take her outside here in a second. There's a weird story about her. I don't remember if I told you earlier <laughs> um but yeah her hair gets everywhere she has like this fine undercoat that just flies everywhere and since Devin's printing presses are in the, the next room over 
we're trying to keep the hair from getting into those and messing them up but this is not going to be on her while she's in here it's just pretty much while she's in the hall but yes i'm going to unpack everything and show you what it looks like in the drawers once to get it all put away there are some declutters coming up i feel i filmed some earlier but i didn't get to edit them and they weren't really i really didn't get rid of much <laughs> let's just be honest so there will be more declutters like a better declutter coming up soon are you in there yeah okay. do it oh my god babe. you don't even know okay we're gonna do this i'm gonna go hardcore this is it this is it. okay let's go can't be slacking because elizabeth's watching you <laughs> two bullets how do you like that yes oh yeah yes they're so empty these Uzi's suck bro <laughs> yes no did i make it no Probably did. Don't you, man? What you gonna do about that? <laughs> I'm just dead. Ooh, oh, I can't dodge that. Come on. That might have got him. That might have got him. Oh, yeah, it's gonna get him. Yeah, come on. That's a nut shot. That's a nut shot. Okay, let's go. Ooh, baby. Oh, that's a bullet. Oh, yeah, what you want? Yes, I made it. What? Okay, next. Yes. Okay, shut him down. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> okay, so what are we doing, Devin? What are we doing right now? Amazing. We are having breakfast and then we're going to go to the gym because apparently that's a good combination. Yeah, and then we're gonna start our day. So yeah, I'm gonna be vlogging this week. Ooh, excuse me letting not. you guys know what is going on and oh gosh i just realized Wait, the canopy what that's not extra salt they he always wants extra salt at bojangles and they never give it to him there's no salt on the front no salt, bojangles. <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and eat a bite and i will be yeah. back when we're in the office and doing a little bit of work Good. okay hey guys so i am finally back to the office it's actually a little bit later than what i intended but I got behind doing some other stuff and doing some editing, doing some video stuff today. But we'll just kind of show you what I've been up to so far. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but I am in the bathroom. And, okay, I have to tell you guys this one thing. This isn't anything makeup related, but it is hair related. I recently dyed my hair from, you know, I normally do the pink and stuff, but I did purple in it this time. And I got it cut. I'm so happy with the way it turned out. Like this is the healthiest my hair has been in a while. And I'm just so in love with it. A lot of the damage I had in my hair before is finally starting to grow out. And that's why I like, I only colored the bottom part of my hair because this is what's left over from bleaching it two years ago. Um, and it's doing so well. I really, really like the way it looks. But the big thing is like, look how smooth my hair is. Like, I've never been able to have my hair this smooth before. And the reason for that is this product right here. This is from uh, Nature Lab Tokyo, and it's the Perfect Shine Oil Mist. This is supposed to be a heat protectant and color protectant. You put it on your hair, it's extremely fine mist. You put it on your dry hair, and it has been leaving my hair feeling so good. Like. Even Devin has noticed, and you know how guys just really don't pay attention to stuff like that, but he has noticed, and he's actually complimented my hair. Um, I can't say, like I keep forgetting to put the volume spray in my hair so it feels a little bit flat, but I'm okay with it because it just feels, well, and I just must it up right there, but it just feels so much better. I'm so happy to finally have somewhat decent hair. Um, but let me switch you over. I'm gonna give you a little bit of update on some things in the office that may be in my moving video or may not be. I don't know, but we're just gonna show you a little bit that's going on. And here I am again. So we have put out a few things here. I just got a few random things, stuff that I don't really need right away. Oh, and hey, I painted my nails and it actually didn't do bad. 
Um, for some reason, my nail polish this time for the first time actually did really nice. But yeah, I've got that candle in here, some uh, face mist, and well, this isn't supposed to be here. This is because of my, I like to mix it in with my water. Got some hand cream, some soap, oil, perfume samples that I've been saving for a while. I need to go through and make sure they're all okay. Um, still have a mess everywhere, like random things. Still have boxes of stuff that I don't know what to do with. And I also moved my cabinet over here. This isn't where it's going to stay. I actually want to move it over to here where this space is. And I've got random things over here too in my mirror. But the problem is this door. This door is in the way. I don't even know where it come from. I just came over here like after I moved in or before I moved in, there was nothing in here. But during the remodel process, I guess in the other parts of the building, they kind of just stuck the door in here. And it's heavier than crap. I can't lift it by myself. So it's staying here till the landlord tells us where it's going to go. But once it's gone, my tall cabinet's going to go here. Brooms are going to go here. And on this side here, you know, the two cabinets, they were kind of really close. But I separated them out because my IKEA desk shelf thing. It's actually a shelf that has two drawers on it, but I use it as a desk. I'm going to put it in the middle here for I guess um, maybe photography or I don't know if I want to put a little stool in front of it and actually sit down to do skincare videos or something I don't know I, I that or it's just going to go home and it can sit there till we fix the house up I don't know still makeup or excuse me skincare has not been organized yet it is still a little bit of a mess no surprise there I'm sure Hair care stuff, body care, and skin care. These are, this shelf here are boxes of makeup that I need to do something with. Why is this here? I don't know. Oh, and these are my shelves. You may have recognized them. I have literally moved these things with me over and over into multiple places. Um, we cut up an Ikea desk that was just falling apart. And I actually, like, this is what the inside of it looks like. It's cardboard. I took some of the marble contact paper and wrapped it. And I think it turned out pretty. I've been kind of just taking those around with me place to place. This container, that box, and this bag still have my eyeshadow palettes in them. I haven't been able to unpack them because we still don't have the shelves done. I really want to get that done as soon as possible because it kind of makes me sad <laughs> that they're just setting in those boxes. The little station on this side, there are some decorations put up. And yes, I have my crock pot here, but we decided to go ahead and save a little bit of money instead of buying takeout every day. I'm just going to bring a few things with me and just pop it in the crock pot. And I need to wash it here in just a second. I don't know why I'm showing you this. I made pulled barbecue chicken. So instead of like pulled barbecue pork, we just use chicken and shred it up after you're done. And I really like that. That was a simple, simple recipe. My computer has been set up and my monitor and all my lighting equipment is here. I still have to install my little baskets that mount to the underside of the desk. That way all the cords are out of the floor and kind of up out of the way. Because my fur babies are going to, her specifically, she is bad to just run through and not pay any attention. Like this little mess of cords right here, she wants to go through them and then she'll end up ripping my equipment off the table or knocking over my camera and breaking it. Like it would be really, really bad. But I'm glad to have her here. We just gotta get those cords out of the floor. Hey, Mia. Mia. Oh my gosh, is that my baby? Are you wanting belly rubs? Oh my gosh, do you want belly rubs? Oh my gosh, are you wanting belly rubs too, Lila? Oh my goodness. Both of my girls are here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God, I love her so much. She's so sweet. And Mia is just sitting there cool. She's like, yeah. I get all the belly rubs. Wow, so pretty. Aren't you? Aren't you so pretty? She's got a mustache. She's got a gray beard. She's still my baby, though. Yeah. Yeah, and I've got them a couple of pillows over there so that they can hang out with me. And here behind the door, 
Still have my mess of wires and I've just been hanging up the leash there. And I still have a bunch of stuff all over the place. Like I've already filmed a couple of videos and I hadn't even tried to clean it up yet. It's because I need to get those shelves up here. This is just a big blank space and I can't, I can't put away any of this stuff until I figure out what to do for the wall situation so that all these decorations can be put out some way or I'll decide what needs to be put back in the closet. I have a random bra here. Okay, I know that looks bad, but hear me out. Whenever I'm filming here, we work pretty late and after everyone is gone, like the second I hear someone lock that door, like the other places are gone, off comes the bra. I can't help it, I just wanna be comfortable. And here is another shelf that was another one of those tables that Devin cut up, but this is the long version of it. I'm going to mount it up on the wall up here and put something on it. I don't know. I need to wrap it though because this one is in pretty, I mean, it's not horrible shape, but it doesn't look great. And there, in, okay, you can see better like what's on the inside of the Ikea tables. It's basically cardboard in, this, in the center section and then plywood or not plywood plywood no where it's like little particles particle board there you go it's particle board for the rest of it also have a little sign up there it says choose your weapon very fitting and i forgot to show this a second ago but my mom spotted this in marshall's and it's got a bunch of makeup sponges in here i'll use them for something but i thought the glass was so pretty uh, I really like that and it actually matches the candle that's in the bathroom. But for now it's gonna stay here. It's just, just a little something like an accent piece. But okay, let me show you my favorite thing whenever I'm filming here, when I'm editing to be correct. Turn off the lights. I have a light there. My ugly lamp is over here making a mood. And then I come over here and I turn on this. This way, whenever I'm kind of in here by myself and I'm editing, just kind of chilling, hanging out, soft lighting, and I'm sitting right here I love that light. I've had this one for a while. Like if you remember me filming in the tent, that was actually what I had behind me. It is so pretty in the dark. So pretty. And it just kind of sets a mood in here. Yeah, during the day you can't really see it that well. I mean, you can kind of see the blue, but not the pink. Plus I don't wanna waste the battery during the day. Okay, so as promised, I forgot to show you guys the makeup as after I put it away. So let me show you really quickly what I have done. These are my eyeshadow palettes, all of my little ones. And I like to spread them out like this so that I can kind of flip through and see everything that I have. This is before I've done a declutter. So this will be a little bit different once I do that. This drawer, all of my lashes are in the back because I don't reach for them that often. But all of my Stila shadows, my ColourPop Super Shock shadows are in here. All of my glitters are in here. Like loose glitters and glitter liners, and glitter glue, all that's in there. And then I have like um, single shadows, some cream stick shadows, cream shadows, just randomness. Oh, and by the way, if you're looking for a good pair of lashes, go to Dollar Tree from Ioni. These are just the little um, individual lashes, the wispies, but they have full lashes that are so stinking pretty. Best price ever for a dollar, dollar twenty-five now. Okay, this drawer is all my primers, and I have some kind of tucked back here. Um, I don't like the Alex drawers only because there's so much wasted space back there. I think someone said you can redo the the tracks on the sides and you can make it to where it pulls out more. But I I need to test that theory because that's the only thing I don't like about these. And these are all my little uh, small like deluxe travel size primers and my eyeshadow primers. This 
Then we have all of my foundation and concealers here. A little bit of a mess. This is mostly my concealers, um, some color correctors here and there, and then foundations. Okay, and it progressively gets worse as we go through all of these drawers. Um, this one is my setting powders, bronzers, and blush. I haven't tried um, redoing this right now, like making it pretty. I'm gonna wait till I do a declutter and then it'll look much better. But there's some stuff, like I don't even know if you can see it. There's like palettes back there too. Now this next drawer, the last one, this is the messiest. Yeah. This is my highlighter drawer. And there's a ton of stuff in here. I, I definitely need to go through this drawer because I don't wear a highlighter like I used to. And all the palettes are in the back there. But there's a lot in there that's good and I just can't see it. Lots of goodies in here. I could probably do a whole declutter video on just my highlighter drawer because there's a ton in there. But yes, that is my update for everything in the beauty room so far. Oh, and again, look at my hair. It's so pretty. I really like this purple. I got so used to having pink hair for so long, I forgot I like purple. Um, I will have another update as soon as possible. Hopefully, we're going to be working on this soon so that we can put away the eyeshadow palettes. I just don't know how long that's going to take because I have to measure everything and go through and figure out how tall my palettes are before I can even situate or figure out the placement for the shelves. But this may be the last update on the room for a while. If you like vlog style videos, make sure to comment down below. Let me know because I could definitely do that for you. There's always something going on here. So if you're interested in kind of just seeing behind the scenes sort of or just into my personal life, then make sure you comment. All right, thank you so much for watching, guys. I love you all. Hope you're having a great day or night, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.